how to happen. It was a 5-2 and I lost the match. <laughs> it just keeps happening. I have big leads and I lose them. I lose the match. I'm a loser. I don't know what to do. <laughs> if this sounds like you, we need to talk. Okay, time to have a tough talk. Why are you losing big leads? I mean, here's the problem. We've all done it. We've all been in matches where we've been up in a tie break, nine, six, or we've been up in a set, five, two. We're serving it out or closing it out. We should win, but why are we still losing these matches? Everyone has experienced this, including myself. I don't wanna talk about it, but we're gonna talk about it. So what I wanna talk about in this video today is why we lose big leads and what you can do about it because no one likes losing big leads. It's probably the bane of every tennis player out there is the last thing you wanna do is talk about when you've been up big in a set or a match or in a tie break and you lost it, it just slips through the fingers. It's awful. So let's talk about what I call the 5-2 curse. And really, it's all about your mental and your mindset. And so let me paint the picture. What are you thinking about? Just go with me here for a second. Think about the last match you lost a really big lead. Get in your head, I'll give you like two seconds. Just think about that match for a second. Take yourself back there. I know it's painful, but we're gonna go there because there's a lesson there. If you think about that match, what did you probably start thinking about when you're up, let's say 5-2 or whatever you were up? Hmm, I'm about to win this. My friends, this is gonna be so, so good because I'm gonna get off the court. My friends are gonna congratulate me. I get to tell everybody how I won. La la la, blah, blah, blah. Whatever you're telling yourself, it's about the result. You're focusing on the result as you're in the match. Hence, generally what happens when you're up and you're focusing on the result is you stop focusing on the tactics and strategies that got you where you are, which is up 5-2. So we're up 5-2, we start thinking about winning and mm, we're just waiting for it. Shower us with the win. This is what you're telling your opponent. I just need to win two more points. I just need to win a couple more points. And this starts the mental change and you start going downhill. Now, let's put ourselves in the shoes of our opponent. What are they thinking? Down 5-2. I gotta fight. They're not thinking about winning. I'm down 5-2. There's no winning. There's just this point. There's just this moment. And this is the key. Being in the moment is really crucial for playing good. But when you're down 5-2, guess what? You're not thinking about anything but this point. When you're up 5-2, you're thinking about the win. So what's happening? While you're up 5-2, you just start waiting for the win to happen. And it doesn't it slips away because the person who focuses on the strategy that got them there, especially if they're up 5-2, guess what? They're gonna continue to win. But what happens is mentally we abandon this when we're up because we're like, we're about to win. And so there usually comes a point where there's what I call the flip-flop or the flip. Meaning I'm up 5-2, boom. I start focusing on winning, boom. My opponent starts coming back, boom. My opponent starts coming back. Five all or four five, right around here. Guess who starts thinking about winning? Hi. They start going, I'm coming back. I could win this. Boom. Guess who thinks about, oh shoot, I'm about to lose this. Okay, what do I need to do? Shifting back into strategy and tactics that you need to do. And generally, this person might be up. Boom. They can eke it out. But sometimes they don't. And because they've lost so many. Uh, games or points, the momentum's crushing them. They get super tight, they get super nervous, they see their friends watching, they go, everybody's giving me that look like I'm about to lose this match, and they can't regroup quick enough. So what I want to talk about is how do we prevent this from happening? We prevent this from happening when staying in the present and focusing on playing each point like it's almost a life or death situation. And so I say this jokingly, but I've played matches where in the back of my head, I've done two strategies that I want to give you and you can come up with your own or share some strategies that keep me really, really focused in so, the present what I mean and by this, on the strategies and tactics that got me there. I would sometimes tell myself that if I don't make this shot, that a family member, some, some other person is holding a gun to a family member. I know it sounds brutal, but they're holding a gun to a family member and they're going to pull the trigger unless I make this return. I know if this sounds like, whoa, Kevin, that's way overboard. But what it did was kind of get me in this frame of mind that's like, you need to focus on making this ball because someone's life depends on it. Now, obviously, if you don't want to go that far, I got another one for you. Another thing I would do is always play down. I realized in my career for a while, that I was like, man, when I'm down, I play so good. 
and I come back up and something happens. So what I would do is I would call out the score. I actually played a tournament one time where I wasn't the top seed. I was playing a, a top seed and I was, I was just like, you know what? I'm gonna, I knew this and I was like, I'm gonna make sure I'm always down. Because if I'm down, I'm always fighting for every inch. And so I would call out the score when I was up. I was actually up 4-2 and I was like, oh, 4-2 to my opponent. And I looked down, bounce the ball and go, okay, Kevin, you're down 2-4. Okay, you gotta focus on winning just this point. And I would redo this over and over. And I actually won the match 6 2 6 2. And I was going back up to serve. And the guy was like, dude, the, the, you won the match. What's going on? So basically, without going into like doing any crazy stunt like that, is I'm trying to make sure I keep myself in the present moment of playing one point. Where we get in trouble is we start thinking about the future, like I'm going to win. Or we're in the past. I lost so many points. I'm playing so bad. But in the present, you've got to think about, okay, I'm here in this moment. Nothing good's happened. Nothing bad's happened. It's just this moment. So therefore, what do I need to do? I just need to play a point and I need to make sure I have a strategy to do this. So hopefully this makes sense to you because ah, it's so painful and I feel your pain when you lose a big lead. No one likes losing big leads and sometimes the other player just steps up and they play better. And you get the sense for it, like, man, they're just playing better. But there's a totally different sensation when you have a big lead and you kind of just let it slip. You know you were supposed to win that and you let it slip. And a lot of times it's because this starts slipping. So hopefully this video helps you a lot to make sure this stops slipping and it keeps the traction, it keeps the pressure on your opponent so you can finish out those matches with confidence and not slip or fall or wind up losing those big leads. God, I hate it losing that match, but I don't want that for you. So hopefully you enjoy this video uh, because it's super important to understand how to mentally get over these kind of hurdles when you're playing matches. Take care.